Good morning, District 89. This is Ms. M, art teacher over at Stevenson Middle School. This week I'm going to show you all how to create a monster in a jar. Yes, we're going to create monsters in jars. Uh, the trick is I want you to be really creative with your monster. I do not want your monster to look like my monster, but I will show you how to put it in a jar and make it look a little bit 3D. So that's where the art techniques come in this week. So uh, start thinking about what you wanna do and let's go ahead and get started. For today, you are gonna need a pencil, piece of paper. Again, any paper will do, even if it's colored. Don't worry about it, just use what you have at home. Um, you also need some sort of coloring materials, um, but you can get that later. And then of course, I always love to use my Sharpie, but if you don't have a Sharpie, use a black pen, um, you could just leave it in pencil, so whatever it works for you. As you get started, keep in mind, uh, the only rule for this part is you wanna keep your monster pretty small so that you can build the jar around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing my monster. Uh, to get started, I'm gonna th start thinking about some animals that I like in real life, like the octopus and like a deer and like a dog. Um, and then I'm gonna maybe look up a cartoon picture of um, an animal that already exists, and then I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna add my own eyes, I'm gonna add my own features to make it look like a monster. So if you're stuck and you don't know where to go, uh, that's a good place to start. All right, I'm gonna put this in fast forward so I could draw my monster, and then I'll come back and show you step-by-step step how to draw the jar. Okay, so I have my cute little doggy monster. Um, I hope you guys were able to come up with something super interesting and creative on your own. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to draw a jar around your monster. Um, there's only really a couple small tricks to drawing a jar to make it look 3D, um, but we're gonna start by just drawing the sides of the jar first and you kind of want to make the top opening a little bit narrower, and then you're gonna make the sides pretty much go um, straight down, and you're gonna want to make them pretty close to your monster, but not cutting off your monster. So they wanna be around your monster. This is the tricky part to making a jar look 3D. You want to give it a curved bottom. So you don't want it to go straight across like you would normally draw. You want to curve it down and then you want to curve it back up. And that's going to give the illusion of space. And if you don't do it quite perfect the first time, just draw lightly so that you can erase it. Then I'm going to draw the other side Again, you want it to be relatively about the same width between the monster on both sides, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe the monster is off to one side of the jar, right? And then the sides are gonna go straight down. Again, we're curving the bottom. So the bottom being curved, that's what's gonna give it that 3D effect. Okay, also for the top of the jar, to make a lid, you're gonna curve that on an angle down too. So you don't want lines going straight across, you wanna just kind of curve them down a little bit. I'm gonna make a second curvy line and then the top I'm gonna to curve the other way. So now I have my monster in a jar. Um, you also, I don't know if you guys remember those old fashioned jars, but they kind of have a little clasp right here. So I'm gonna put that clasp in to make it look a little bit more interesting. Um, and then lastly, I want to pretend like my jar is sitting on some sort of a table. Like just picture that your monster is in a little jar on your nightstand. Not that we would ever be cruel to animals, but you know, um, this is all for pretend. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna draw a line kind of towards the bottom going behind the jar, but because our jar is see-through, you would see that line 
in the jar and then you're going to continue that line on the other side uh, through the end and just a simple line like that can give it so much more depth um, and it kind of gives the illusion that it's sitting on a table. So now um, after you've drawn your monster and you've drawn your jar, uh, if you want to add any more details inside your jar or next to your jar, feel free to do so. I'm going to go ahead and put this in fast forward and color it and sharpie it up. I think it's going to look like a really cute piece of art when I'm done. Uh, as you guys are finishing these up, try to take photos of them and send them to me to my email address. Um, but I'm going to put this in fast forward and then I'll show you what mine looks like at the end. Okay, we are all finished with our monsters in a jar. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Please make sure to send me photos of your work. I would love to see what you guys came up with. Uh, so also please don't forget to keep up with your e-learning days and I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye guys.